hi friends welcome back to my channel and today's video so today I'm gonna film my eyeshadow collection and declutter video uh, don't usually film these, these this late during the year but I really wanted to do so because I feel like my collection has gotten out of hand and it's just like I don't even want to sit in my makeup room because it is so much eyeshadow palettes all over the place and I'm dreading it, like I'm hating it. And I've just filmed my shop, my stash. If you wanna see it, I can link it right up here somewhere. But the thing is that even when I'm gonna do my shop, my stash, it's like I hate doing them because it takes me so long to film and get everything ready because there's too much makeup all over the place. So today I will try and be brutal and remember hearing me say try as well as I'm not decluttering because I want to bring so many new things in. So I'm, I'm going to start off with some palettes that I have in my shop my stash because you're not gonna see them in my collection otherwise. So let's just continue or let's just start off. We have my Anastasia Norvina palette, and you will see in my videos, you will see a lot of dips and pans because I am the kind of person that loves to use makeup if I love it. So in a lot of these palettes, you're gonna see dips and pans and all of that. And we're gonna start with a lot of pans. This is an eyeshadow palette that I'm for sure keeping. As you can see, she has been well loved. She has been well used. And I'm at the point where I've kind of changed my makeup preference a little bit. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So I kind of want to start using Volatile, which is like a shade that I have never really used that much. Same with this one. This is like too warm for me and don't like it. But this one, I really want to start using. I have a hard time getting soul into a makeup look as well okay this if i'm gonna ramble this much about every eyeshadow palette this is gonna be like a four hour video and maybe you guys want to see that but i don't want to hear myself talk for like four hours then we have my anastasia jackie Aina palette i love anastasia's eyeshadow palettes this one i have had a little bit of a struggle with because i loved it when i got it then i didn't really like it that much now i love it again and i just think that this is like perfect for the holidays and like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving has already been, but still I think it's it's a bomb palette. Then we have a newer palette to me. This is the ColourPop Whatever palette. And by the way, I have some eyeshadow palettes coming to me, which, okay, I'm just gonna say, this is like ridiculous. I have Juvia's Place, the Berries palette. Couldn't keep myself. And then I have Juvia's Place, the Mauve's palette. And then I have three ColourPop palettes, which is the Raw Beauty Christie one. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. Then I have the Barracuda one and the Stone Cold Fox palette. But once I've gotten those, I don't have anything else that's coming to me. Just so you're aware, <laughs> because there are gonna be some new palettes. Okay, um, yeah, this is what this palette looks like. I absolutely love it. I think that it is super grungy and beautiful. And the shades in this palette is very, like the, oops, the mattes are very, very dry and super matte. And you're not gonna be able to hit pan in these super quick. And I'm, not, I'm saying that as a good thing because some ColourPop palettes have a little bit more kick up to them, which also isn't a bad thing, but I'm just telling you guys how it is. A palette that has a lot of kick up is actually the Viseart Cool Mattes Volume 2 palette. This is a new palette to me that was sent from Look Fantastic and I filmed like a shop with me video that I can link somewhere if you wanted to see it. And if you wanna see tutorials on any of these palettes or products, this is palette focused, damn. Um, just go to the search bar on my channel and just search for, for instance, Anastasia Norvina, and you will find all of the palettes or all of the videos that I have filmed with it. So this one I wanna use more. And then we have my Natasha Denona gold palette. This is the gold and cranberry palette into one. So I have uh, these two and then this one. I popped out the OG sh shades and then I popped in some um, from the cranberry palettes, the, the shimmers. So now this is a way more fitting palette to me because I love these two especially. And do you know what's fun? One girl actually <laughs> commented and said that she loved this palette so much. So, so she ordered 
the gold palette and the cranberry palette to make this palette and I was like girl that's an expensive palette and then last up in my shop my stash is the NYX Utopia palette which is a newer palette on the market but I just couldn't keep myself from purchasing this well I tried I tried for like a month or two and then I just couldn't keep myself from purchasing it anymore so yeah I have some palettes on the floor I'm just gonna put them here because I'm like undecided so Let's start off with my Soft Glam palette. This is actually a palette that I got sent out from Beauty Bay in PR like two weeks ago or something. So this is obviously not that used. Um, we'll keep that. My Urban Decay Moon Dust palette is looking like this and this is definitely a keep. Damn. It's all right. One thing I will also say, wow, it's so light in here. Uh, one thing I wanna say is that I am not gonna try and focus on like brand or if the palettes are very expensive or something, but I will probably keep some palettes just for work. So when I'm working with certain brands, but I will be super transparent about that. So this is a Pixi plus heart Fencer. not really sure this is what it looks like I was a little bit unsure about this in my last declutter but I will now declutter this one I haven't used it I haven't even wanted to use it so that's a pretty strong indicator this is the Colourpop Flutter by palette that I will keep this is one of my newest additions this is the Bobbi Brown Modern Symphony eyeshadow palette that you saw me purchase in my shop with me video just looks like this um, I think it's a cute cool tone palette and since I don't have a lot of cool tones I will keep it but I'm not too sure that I will keep it for like years to come. This is a palette, and I'm not going in a specific order by the way. This is a palette that I will get rid of. This is from Barry M. Um, just looks like this. Haven't used it. I think I swatched some shades. So I'm not too sure that I can put it in a giveaway because this one looks like I touched it. I think I touched. Is that the only one I touched? maybe the red as well but I know that some of my subscribers are okay with me sending like slightly used makeup so maybe I will send it to some of those here we have my certified palettes so this is the certified tropical wonders palette it just looks like that super cute and then we have my certified dynasty palette just looks like that also very very cute I will declutter both because I haven't used them in probably over a year so no need for me to keep it then we have the revolution pro nath palette these are the only ones that I love from makeup revolution <sighs> but I will declutter declutter this haven't used it that much I have used it not that much um anastasia modern renaissance palette looks horrible i know this is what mine looks like i have finished up tempera or tempera don't know i'm undecisive about this i kind of want to keep it so i think i will same thing with prism i kind of just want to put this in a maybe pile but like dimension is so pretty thrown and like pyramid is one of my favorite golds I don't know this is in the maybe pile putting it to the side then we have my lemonade palette from Dominique cosmetics looks like this I will declutter this one I have kept this because I love these two the mattes in this palette are absolutely beautiful, but I never reach for this. I don't like the mattes. I think that these two are phenomenal when I do like a super warm brown look, but I have other shades and other palettes for that. We have my custom made like Makeup Geek palette. This is my Makeup Geek. Um, these are Glam, no, not Glam Glow. Give Me Glow. <laughs> Give Me Glow, we have Nabla, 
we have Sam Anastasia. I think this one is from Coastal Scents. We have some ColourPop, but mostly it's like a mix, but mostly Makeup Geek. But I will keep this one because I love it. I have this one from Dose of Colors, my Friendication palette. I have a pan in that one and that one. Recently used this and I just, I love it. So I wanna keep it. This one I'm a little bit torn about because I haven't really used it and I feel like I kind of struggle with it. Um, I feel like I just don't love the tones in it. So, ooh, I'm gonna declutter it. Ooh, that was hard. I'm also gonna declutter my BH Cosmetics Festival palette. Such a pretty palette, but I don't use it. So it's going, going, going. Uh, this is the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette. Looks like this, I think it's so cute. I haven't used this, I was gifted this by one of my subscribers, I got like a huge subscriber gift and this was one of them. So I still haven't dipped into this one because I felt like I was only using new palettes on my channel. So I kind of want to wait with this one a little bit, but I do want to use it eventually. So I will keep it because it is a gorgeous palette and just imagine for like spring, so pretty. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is from The Bomb. I got this from my mom, actually. It's super cute, but I love this shade. But this is actually, like, it, this has some cooler tones, like matte, rossy. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile to see what we'll end up keeping. This is the Elva from Odin's Eye. I actually promised one of my subscribers to get this palette from me. But then during Black Friday, she said that she kind of forgot about it and she had already purchased it. So I'm not gonna give it to her, but I will give it to someone. Um, I think that this is gorgeous, but I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't know. So I'm just gonna stay quiet. <laughs> Lie like you a lot will, oops, be decluttered, but I wanna put back my shades from the, what palette is that? Um, the other purple palette that they have. Damn, what is it called? I'm gonna put this to the maybe side because, oh, that was hard. Uh, uh -huh, honey palette, also from ColourPop. I will uh, remove the hair, um, but she will also be decluttered because even though I really enjoy this, I have the Urban Decay honey palette and I like that way more. Linda Hallberg Enchanted palette will keep. I will keep this. I, I, I love the tones except for like this one. Not that it's bad, but it's just not my kind of color story. Dream Street from ColourPop. Oh, this is a hard one. I love some of the shades in this palette. I will keep this. I'm kind of <laughs> not reaching for certain palettes in here because I'm so unsure about them. Colourpop Good Sport, this I will keep. Love this one and I, I have actually reached for this kind of a lot during this fall, so that's something that I'm very excited about. Um, Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette will not go, oops, I was showing my tits. This will not go anywhere, even though it has gotten like so many bad reviews. I still enjoy it. I still love it. And the shimmers are unreal. Like All In is probably one of my favorite shadows in my entire collection. There's no way I'm getting rid of this one. No way. And I did actually compare it to the new Book of Magic palette. The Nikki Tutorials palette I purchased. This one I got in PR by Beauty Bay, but I kept this because I thought that this was so beautiful. But I did compare it to this shade that is called Crystal, and I thought that they were pretty similar. They are similar, but they are not identical, which I was scared that they would be, but they're not. And now I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know which my favorite is. It's so hard to pick one, but talking about this, I will keep it. And these will probably be in my like favorite palettes of the year kind of video. For some reason, Juvia's Place 
decided to remove this palette from their collection which I think is just stupid of them don't know if it was that it's super expensive for them to make or something I have no idea why maybe it wasn't selling as much as I thought that it was maybe some of their other palettes sell more because they have more insights when it comes to that than I have but I think that this palette is absolutely gorgeous you can see that I have so many dips in this palette it's just beautiful so this one is a keep if you remember I did a collaboration with a brand called blush tribe they're no longer available but they are now called Mayali they have done that palette so this palette is obviously not going anywhere this is my palette that I did in collaboration with them and this is the only palette that I will keep for sentimental value I kept like I have more than this palette I have unused palettes and I have gotten comments and questions from people asking if they can purchase um, my palette uh, from my like unused palettes and I'm just gonna be honest and say no you cannot I want to keep them for myself because if one breaks or something happens I will never in my entire life be able to get a hold of this palette again so for that reason I'm being a selfish biatch we have this palette from Natasha Denona and I went into this thinking that I would declutter it but look at these beautiful shimmers like this one this is unused by the way maybe we could just take some out of this and pop into my gold palette this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 5 I haven't used this because I got it in PR uh, let's pull some more palettes out and if you're unaware this is just the beginning this is just the first drawer I have more drawers to come so I'm not gonna tell you to get a snack because I cringe every time a youtuber says that but I will tell you to get comfortable Juvia's Place Sahara 2 palette if you are an OG you know this is not going anywhere no way Jose I have pans in do we have pan in that one no we don't but we have pans in five shades in this palette and that is because it's beautiful the one shade that I don't think I've ever used is this one and now this one looks beautiful I know it looks ratchet but that is because of the fact that I um, have dropped this Ooh, it's like a burnt burnt brown but I have dropped this uh, palette and then this fell out what is that this fell out wise so I just kind of pressed it back in and it's stayed there so that's great a palette that I will declutter is this one I thought that that was so embarrassing when I was filming this video because Beauty Bay was so kind to send me a PR package with products from their own brand <laughs> and I ended up hating almost everything from their line I got the nude 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 palette I don't like this one I got their new eye pencils hated those ones those were the worst eyeliners ever and I felt really bad but I would feel more bad if I was lying to my subscribers so this is what it looks like I definitely think that this could be like a dupe for the Natasha Denona bronze palette but I just thought that and keep in mind I've only used this once but I just didn't like it and no way I'm gonna keep that colored rain safari rain palette is magical I know you cannot purchase this anymore but you can actually uh, purchase all of these shades like individual shades so if you see this palette and you're, and you're like oh my god I want that palette then you can purchase the shades that you like so for instance if I were to purchase this palette like that I wouldn't purchase these three I would only purchase these six because I think that they are the prettiest and like the most yeah they're just beautiful the most beautiful in my eyes but if you were loving those the most then just purchase those you don't have to purchase all the shades but definitely gonna keep that mmm now I feel like it gets very hard Ooh, this one is a favorite of mine this is the sweet talk palette from Colourpop this 
is bay to me. I do the same look every single time I reach for this palette. It doesn't even do its justice when you see it on camera because it has this reflective background. But if you were to see this in real life, you would gush about about it. Then we have the Kaleidos. I don't even know what this is called. The Escape Pod. I knew it. Looks like this. Um, I think that this is beautiful, but it's definitely not my favorite from Kaleidos. When I got it, I loved it and I didn't want to use anything else, but now I'm kind of like, ink. You guys know I went a way more neutral route, so this is a little bit intimidating for me, but I still enjoy the colors right up here. I enjoy the neutrals down here. These greens are so beautiful and this one, oh my gosh, so pretty. So I will keep it. I see this in the back. This is the first palette that I ever got on Sephora. Hey, see, yeah. Even though I've kept it for like sentimental value, I know that I will not use this anymore. And I just feel like it's so unnecessary for me to keep it. I look at it now and I'm like, oh my God, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Like I love that shade. I love this shade and I love this shade. But at the same time, I'm like, I have those tones, so that was a hard one, <laughs> but we're doing it. Let's take this beauty. This is the LA Girl Pro Mastery Palette, or Mastery Palette, depending on how you want to say it. So this is what this beauty looks like. I think that this palette is stunning. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's definitely on trend right now, so we'll keep. Creepy Cute from Shroud Cosmetics. When I purchased this, this was called Strobe Cosmetics. My black shadow has broken on me. I will keep this one because I think it's great to have like a pastel palette and I did really enjoy it this summer. Um, I'm gonna keep this palette only for work and that is not work that I do in my like day-to-day -day life but work when I work with Look Fantastic, this is great to have. And it doesn't take up a lot of space, so that's why I'm keeping that one. Might declutter in the future. Color pop through my eyes. I just think that this is a stunning, stunning palette, but haven't used it enough. So this is actually gonna go in my maybe pile. I do wanna keep it mainly for like these colors, like all these four, this one, this one, which like almost like a perfect like piggy color. This one, this one, this one. The yellows and oranges. I'm not too fond of yellow and oranges for some reason, but that is gonna go in my maybe pile and we're just gonna continue. Mm. Okay, let's go with this one. My Yali Jasmine palette. So this is Blush Tribe's new brand and I, try to be like, even though I have worked with a brand, I try to be as honest as I can on my channel. And to me, it just doesn't make sense why she shut down Blush Stripe just to open my Ollie and run it in the exact same way that she did with Blush Tribe. So I have never promoted that I have a code with this brand because I am so unsure of how I really think or what I think about this brand in general. I think that these shadows are beautiful. I do, and especially these three, but I am wondering if I should just pop these out. I don't have like a tweezer here but I'm wondering if I should pop these out and maybe even this one because I'm a boring bitch. Maybe even this one because this is like a green brown, so pretty. But anyway, and just use them as singles. I don't know, I'm gonna put this in my maybe palette and that is because I am so iffy on the brand. I think it's hard. Okay, this one, this is hard. This is from a brand called Milan Row. This is an indie brand I have not heard anyone else talk about, but I actually really enjoyed this palette. Um, it looks very beat up because my palette actually arrived smashed, but I don't think it has that many unique colors in it, so I will declutter. Damn, I'm doing a great job. Another palette that I will keep for 
uh, work is this palette from Ilamasca. I actually enjoy this palette, I do, but it's not my favorite color story. I like these two. Um, I like this one, but the others are a little bit like my. They're all, all right. This one is gonna go in my maybe palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. I basically only bought this because they had a great sale on this one at Kicks, which is why like sales are so stupid because if you don't want it to begin with, then why are you purchasing it? This one I will declutter. This is the Anastasia uh, Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. It's a gorgeous palette, but I feel like I've used this once and that is because it's it's like it's cute <laughs> it's cute but it's not it's not me melt smoke session palette such a beautiful palette that has been a little bit hidden so um, she's gonna be kept and I want to keep one rainbow palette and I think it's gonna be colored rain um, the vivid pigments palette but to be fair, I haven't used this a whole lot. I never dip into this palette when I just want like a dash of purple or a dash of green. So maybe she will be decluttered in the future, but for now she's being kept. I think I'm gonna declutter LA Girl Pro Artistry palette. Let me just look at her. No, I cannot declutter her. She's a beauty. Okay, if I don't use her, soon she's gonna be decluttered i'm gonna put her in my maybe pile as well and we can go through those later the two faced sweet peach palette is it time to move on yeah it's time to move on damn that's hard super hard elf mad for matte jewel pop palette will oh maybe pile Kaleidos, uh, Futurism, Cyber Bronze, not going anywhere. I don't have a red that is like a pure red in my collection. This one is also pretty. I love, ooh, I love the browns in this one. So she's staying. We have the Blushing Berries palette from Dose of Color. She's also staying. Haven't used her too, too much. A little bit ashamed. She Glam Bubblegum Palette. Oh my god. This palette is so good. I know she looks so freaking pale, but look at that. Like this, the shimmers are amazing. Just pop like two shimmers or two mattes in your crease and then put like this green shimmer on your lid. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to say the word that every single YouTuber says, which is obsessed, but I am. I am. Oh, this one, Suewa. Su <laughs> Suewa. 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 Spice of Life. We'll keep only for work. Or will I? Yes, I will keep her only for work. I do this because I'm like, this is my job essentially. Like, I don't think I've talked about this, but I have opened up my own business, so I'm a business lady. But yes, we'll keep her. Norvina, let me let me show her to you. Norvina, oh great, mini three palette looks like this. Recently did a video, no, a look with this one. Didn't film it, just for myself, and then I went out took a little or I went out partying looking all dashing so pretty Anastasia Norvina <laughs> volume one I don't think I've used this and I don't know if I'm gonna keep her and that is because I feel like ouch these tones I have over and over and over again so let's be brutal and say bye bye Morphe Jaclyn Hill looks like this. This formula you cannot purchase anymore and I recently used this and wasn't a fan. So she's going. She's also way too big. She is way too big. Odazai Elva, what does it say? Elva 2 Mini Sky Palette it looks like that. I will keep this one because I love these but I might eventually actually declutter them because 
The formula of these palettes weren't the same as the first one and I don't know why everyone is raving about them because they're not the same. Okay, uh, mini forest palette. This is also Elva 2. This is what this one looks like. I gave away my third palette. I don't think I showed it to you guys, but I gave it away to one of my subscribers. And then I gave the Elva 2 palette, you know, the big one that they came out with. I gave that away to another subscriber because I thought that they could get way more use out of it. This one is pretty, so she's staying. Okay, this one is empty, but we're not done. We are far from being done. First and foremost, I kind of have to apologize because I realized that the TV was on. We always have like Family Guy, Cleveland Show, or American Dad um, in the background at home. <laughs> and I've become numb to it. So I didn't hear it, but you guys obviously did. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, I did put in all my palettes in here because I just f felt like I didn't want to move the camera and setting and whatnot because it is very echoey in there. And then we also have this little big wait. We have this acrylic thing, which I have on my makeup table. So this is on my makeup table and I thought that we would go through that one as well. So I didn't want to move around the camera because I felt like then it would just change the settings and it's so comfy for me to, ooh, to be able to sit here. So a lot of these are going to be keep, if not all of them. But since this is a collection video as well, I really wanted to go through them. So this is the Marvelous this is the Marvelous Mauves. So this is what she looks like. Um, she's really pretty, but if we're gonna be totally honest, where are you? So she's very similar to the Flutterby palette, but I wanna keep both because I want to. Okay, great. <sighs> Subculture. Recently used her in a makeup tutorial. Please go ahead and check that out if you want to, but she is obviously staying because she's loved. She's a queen and she's a beauty. The only shade I don't like is Cube, which is the first shade, which is like a silvery, no, shimmery, <laughs> shimmery pink. That's horrendous. Here we have It's My Pleasure, and I talked about this. Let me zoom you guys in because this is horrible. The acrylic case, I always get questions about. This is from a Swedish store called Coco Panda. You can also purchase this if you live in Norway at Bli Vacker is that website. This is, um, it's my pleasure, as I said. And I have swapped out some shades with the Lilac You A Lot palette, but this one I will obviously keep. We have the Garden Variety palette that I recently have done like two, makeup tutorials on it just looks like this pretty and a beautiful palette we have my big Norvina volume 4 palette which oh my god this is the palette of my dreams I love this palette if I could change like one or two things that I would I would remove the glitters I would pop in a black maybe a beige and some boring shades, <laughs> but I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then we have my Naked, um, what is this called? Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. Ooh, wait, this is what this one looks like. You know what I just realized? I got a palette from She Glam that was um, a little bit like a dupe for a NARS palette. And I think I've thrown that away because I went through my entire collection the past couple of weeks and I have just removed like all of my unused makeup and I've gone through all of my drawers and I cannot find it. So it has to be that I've kept it in like a box or something and then I've just went down to like the garbage room and tried to recycle it and then I have not realized that that palette was in there. Such a shame, but life moves on. This is the Naked 
honey palette, as I said, and I think that this is gorgeous, so beautiful, so keep. ABH, volume tres, volume one, I mean. Looks like this, you guys know I love my purples, I love my pinks, the blues, not so much, but I have been loving doing like a blue wing recently, but this is not going anywhere. Recently just used this, like I use these palettes a lot. We have the Natasha Denona Cranberry palette, as I said, and here we have some of the gold palettes. I did swap some of the shades. So this one is from the gold palette, but then I had the coral palette, yes. And I took that shade and that shade, I think, from the coral palette. So these were in the cranberry palette. And then I popped out two shades that was in the gold palette that I just didn't like. And I got rid of that palette. But this is a keep. Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette is also a keep. Such a pretty palette. Melt 27 palette. A little bit iffy on this one, if I'm not gonna lie. I got this from a subscriber, so this is not a palette that I purchased. But I do really enjoy like some of these a little bit more salmon-y tones that has a little bit of a pink shift. Even like this one, I don't know how well it translates on camera, but it's sort of like a cool tone while not still being like cool toned. So I do want to keep this and use it and try to do something fun with it. And then we also have the Gemini palette, which is such a beautiful palette. I got so many compliments when I was using this one in a makeup tutorial, and then I used these in a Instagram tutorial. So I do post like Instagram tutorials almost every single, not every single day, but I post a few every single week. And I also have my makeup of the day. So for instance, if I've used the Melt Gemini palette, I always post a little boomerang thing to my story then I then save to my highlights. So you can see all of the makeup that I've worn the past 250 days perhaps. And you can always see which eyeshadow palette that I've used and which lippies I've used. So if you wanted some inspo, you can just go to my story and look there. They're saved in my highlights. Then we have the Too Faced Gingerbread palette. And this is such a cutie. Definitely want to bring this out for Christmas. Also got this from a subscriber. Actually the same subscriber. There's this one lady. <laughs> She spoils me rotten, and she has bought me most of my subscriber gifts, which is also this one. <laughs> Feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is just a beauty, so we'll keep that. She has also purchased this palette for me, which is the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace. And th this is such a beautiful palette, and I kind of want to... I think that this is a little bit hard to use and no shade or shame, shade it's called to Mel Thompson, Mel Thompson that has created this palette, but that is her makeup aesthetic. I feel like this is a little bit hard to use. Uh, so I would just like to have like a neutral palette or something right next to it or like a, a little bit more like pinkier palette perhaps or like a purplier palette or something or a green palette that I can pair with this one and like these but it's an amazing formula I uh, ooh, amazing then we have the Norvina volume 3 yes which was the first one that I got and this is a fall palette like if this doesn't scream fall to you then I don't know what will it's like ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it not doing great on the declutter part but it's gonna be better soon in this drawer I promise let's go through some of my Kaleidos palettes this is the Astro Pink which is hands down my favorite out of all of them this is just goals goals we have the sci-fi green and i have actually glued mine to the back i've seen so many of you guys that have also have done that great little tip from me to you mm, sci-fi green just looks like this every time i wear this i get so many compliments then we have this one which is the vr neon palette 
Here we have two, which I haven't glued. I only glued the first three and then I haven't really done it. I like this palette a lot. I especially like the shimmers, but I want them to go back to the OG shimmers that they used to do because those are my personal favorite. But I love to take these ones in my crease and like the, these two in my crease and then this in my outer corner and then just pop both of these on the lid. That is like the most magical look ever. And I've done a tutorial where I do that. If, you, if I can't talk in case you wanted to see it. Then we have the Electro Turquoise palette that looks like this. If I cover up the orange, it's way easier for me to just think about this palette because the orange kind of throws me off, which I've said so many times. But this palette I also really love. I love to take these, all of the colors except for the orange and just create something magical. We have the Magic palette from Juvia's Place which I think is gonna be beautiful during the winter. You cannot purchase this one anymore, but you can purchase this palette, but in a mini, which is not a mini. This is just ginormous, but I kind of want to use this for like the cooler tones and the crispier, to crispier, Christmassy tones. Don't know how to say that in English. And like some of the warmer tones is, is also really beautiful. So I definitely want to use this a little bit more. And then the last two that we have is the Sigma Corderosa palette. Such a beautiful palette. This is on the verge of being too warm for me, but I feel like it really balances it out with the pinks that you have in here. And the palette is just gorgeous. If you love warm tones and you wanna have a palette that you can wear, wear I mean, that you can wear for work, but still like partying and glamming it up a little bit. This is the way to go like this. Absolutely incredible. And I'm not even gonna mention that I have or what my affiliate code is. That's how much I'm promoting it. And then lastly, oh, damn it. I'm always so scared that um, my camera or my ring light is gonna break, but we survived. What was falling out or falling down was my pigments that I had laying on my night table. So no worries, <laughs> we survived. The last palette, as I said, was the Colored Rain. What is this called? Queen of Hearts. Why didn't I know that? And this is what this one looks like. It's such a pretty palette. I really wanna get some more use out of this one. So great. Now we're gonna jump into this drawer. Here we're gonna declutter a lot, I think. I think so. Okay, so let's start off with the Neo Nude from Catrice. Don't know why I picked this one up. I mean, it's a cute palette and all. It was very affordable as well, but I haven't used it. And I know, like I can, I know that I, I don't want to use this and I don't want it, so I'm just gonna declutter it. I could do a video on it, but I mean, oh, no. I'm also gonna declutter this NYX Modern Dreamer. I think I've used this once or twice and it is a very, 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 very pretty palette, but I feel like the NYX Utopia palette has something that this palette just doesn't have. That palette is like, it's a bit, too much for me and the color story is all over the place we have the going coconuts palette from ColourPop. this one i will keep i really enjoy this one i think that this is beautiful so i do want to keep that one i can see that i have some palettes that i just want to remove that is like my palette it's here and then i have some other palettes um when i was going to pick out the shadows that i wanted in my palette i obviously didn't only test out these shadows, I got some samples of things, whatever. I'm just gonna remove those. There might be more underneath here, um, but let's, ouch, continue. That was my foot, nothing else. Uh, this is the Blush Tribe High Hasina <laughs> 2 palette. Obviously you cannot purchase this anymore. I know people are gonna hate me, but I will declutter this one. I haven't used this in over a year. This is not my color story anymore, so not gonna keep that. 
I am gonna keep this one though. I don't use it too much at all. But she did name a shade after me, which is this one. And for that reason, I will keep it. But it's mostly going to be for sentimental value. Just so you're aware and don't think that I'm going to use it too, too much on my channel. Because I'm not. Morphe uh, 35M is this one. Looks like this. This is beautiful. I mean, come on. Oh such a pretty palette we'll definitely keep it the formula isn't the best but it is amazing i feel like we're getting too many palettes <laughs> this is just singles one day i really want to declutter my singles because i can feel I, I, like i see so many shades in here that i just want to get rid of but for now not really doing that this is the beauty bay mama mama mitchell palette that i was so surprised that i got in pr actually we have this beautiful warm side and then we have the equally beautiful cooler tone and like more colorful and like such a, oh, i just love this this palette is bay will for sure keep so here you can see a palette that I haven't used yet. This is the W7 Show Off palette. It looks like this. This is a dupe for the Amrisi palette. And if you have been here for a while, you know that the Amrisi palette is probably my favorite palette in my entire collection. This is what it looks like. And you can see which shade I tend to reach for the most. <laughs> oh gorgeous gorgeous palette and i wanted to compare them oh my god i have a pan and cupcake oh i didn't even know that wow oh my god i can't believe it but i wanted to oops i wanted to compare the two so i will have a video on that but when that's up i'm gonna declutter this one but for now keeping it this is the Alma palette that Amy Loves Makeup did with a horrible indie brand. Will not mention their name because I no longer support them, but I support Amy. So I for sure want to keep this palette. I think that this palette is beautiful and she did an amazing job. So definitely keeping that. I actually kind of want to get rid of like most of the shadows in this palette because they are not my color scheme except for these two that are from Menagerie. I'm gonna put my singles to aside. We can do that another day. This is also a single palette. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. It looks like that. So a palette that I've kept is this one. This is the Sleek. Uh, Garden of Eden palette and I've kept this because I bought this in London during Nicholas and I's um, first year anniversary <sighs> it, It's not bringing me any joy to be honest So I will get rid of it and I will get rid of this one um, I know I just did a video on this palette. This is the Ellie girl break free palette This is one of the prettiest palettes ever and now that I'm looking at it. I'm doubting myself but the thing is that I don't want to keep this because I have so many other palettes and I know that I love those palettes way more so for that reason and that reason alone I want to get rid of it I'm gonna get rid of the Hasina as well you guys know last summer or was it this summer I can't remember but I was shopping my stash and I was saying that I wanted to use this oops all the freaking time and I never ended up doing it and that says something so she's going we have the sample beauty that beauty bay also sent out to me in pr uh, by the way this is the uh equalizer palette volume two i did a video on it and i definitely want to Ooh, let's see i want to use this way more because this is such a pretty palette i really really enjoyed the formula so i do want to use this more so i will keep that one the whale sung palette is also from menagerie cosmetics and this is such a beautiful palette so this is not going anywhere just removed some palettes but this one is a morphe palette that contains coastal scents i think this is makeup geek again not gonna go through those now 
the NARS uh, Afterglow will keep looks like this neutral and boring probably Nomad fuck this is hard this is going in the maybe pile max up the makeup I have actually decluttered most of his palettes not gonna lie uh, nothing personal or that I don't like the brand it's just that I have so much as you can probably tell so this is the sweater weather palette and I will declutter this one as well because I'm not using it and I have other palettes like I would much rather reach for soft glam over this one gingerbread spice over this one gingerbread I mean from Too Faced or uh, my I don't know Sigma palette my Colourpop palette whatever like I would much rather reach for those and I will declutter the Yaya palette from my Ali this is what it looks like she's gorgeous this is gorgeous but I, I don't know what it is about this brand this I don't know I, I cannot put my finger on it so I'm thankful but I'm, I'm mm. Yeah, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette will keep. Want to use this very very soon. Juvia's please do say. Do we want to keep this though? Is this like unique? No, getting rid of it. Mm, I'm so good. Be perfect carnival palette. Oh. She's going. Oh, damn, this is hard. There's so much hair in here. I'm so sorry about that. Aurora Lights from BH Cosmetics. Fuck, she's beautiful. Mm, getting rid of it. Natasha Denona Love Palette is actually a maybe palette. She Glam Desert Palette. This is also like a maybe. Oh, I love these tones. This one, I, I really wanted this to work for me. This is like the be most beautiful shadow I've ever seen. But she looks so golden on the eyes. Mm, maybe Shashima from Colourpop. No, <laughs> from Kaleidos. Keep. This one though, Lunar Lavender. Mm. This is hard. I think she has to stay. And then if I haven't used her for the next declutter, she's gonna go. Morphe, whoop, pride. She's going. Whew. Okay, let's go through our maybes. Mm, okay. Uh, the Balm palette. She's going. Elf palette, she's going. Prism, oh, she's staying. She's staying through my eyes. Staying nomad, like this is so special because the undertones are so unique. So I will keep her if I haven't used her until next time, then I will get rid of her. Let me keep the Jasmine palette as well and think about what I want to do with her. Um, let me keep Lilac You a lot so I can just kind of organize it a little bit more. This is Sandman from Colourpop, I know that, and that is such a beautiful shade, but I kind of just want to take out the shades that I don't want and then declutter it after that. Let me keep the Sheet Glam palette as well, I think. Yeah, let me keep her. Okay, let me open up the Love palette and the Cherry palette. They aren't actually that similar. They are way more muted in the Cherry palette than the Love palette. We're gonna get rid of the Cherry palette no, I'm gonna keep her. I'm gonna keep her. 
And then the LA Girl Pro Artistry Palette. What should we do with you? She's too gorgeous to get rid of. I'm gonna keep her. I see a palette that I wanna get, get rid of. It's bugging me, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, and that is the Soeva Spice of Life palette. I, I don't want this, so I'm just gonna declutter it. We have our Organizers hold so many palettes. I can even like get in some more palettes in here at the front. But let me just count them. One, two. I think it's like 27 palettes in here now. It's insane. But great. Let's organize the other ones as well. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It's it's far from perfect. It's not cute either. But I wanted to show you all of the palettes that we had have decluttered and I am feeling like I did such a good job. So Nicholas 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 actually brought me a glass of wine. Mm-hmm. So let's go through all of the palettes that we have decluttered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So when I started this, I had 114 palettes and right now I have 81 palettes. My goal was to get under 100 this year and I'm under 100. And I even know that there are some palettes in here that I actually wouldn't cry fleds about like if I were to declutter them. So I know that in the upcoming months I will have some time to just try everything out and then declutter the things that I don't want. I have, as I said, five palettes. It sounds ridiculous and it is, uh, but I have five eyeshadow palettes coming into me and I think I'm gonna keep at least three of them. Since I'm ordering from the US, I'm always a little bit unsure and I would rather order a little bit too much and then I can just gift it away to someone and instead of me like having to order once again, I'm gonna have 86 eyeshadow palettes. And then I counted this one, which is the W7 one, which I will declutter as soon as I've done that video. So I am happy. I feel like this is way more manageable and I'm way more excited to do like shop my stash and everything like that in the future. And I have one eyeshadow drawer and I have one no, I have two eyeshadow drawers because I didn't count my singles, only this single palette that I use all the time. All the time, But this is the one I use when I use singles and the other ones I'm just gonna declutter, I don't know, in a video or not in a video, I haven't decided, but that's that. Okay, thank you for watching this super long video. If you did, leave a little pink heart emoji in the comments so I know 
Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.